Hello explorers and welcome back to the Critter Corner. I'm Hannah, your safari guide, and today we are soaring up into the heights of the world of macaws. As we answer the question, what do macaws eat? We'll explore their amazing beaks, their rainforest homes, and how these colorful birds have adapted to life in the jungle. Plus, we'll take a look at some other unique beaks found in the Amazon. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's start by talking about macaws beaks, which are one of their most amazing features. Macaws have strong curved beaks that are perfect for cracking open hard seeds and nuts. But their beaks aren't just for eating. They're also important tools for climbing and even communicating with each other. Their beaks are so powerful that they can easily break through the toughest shells. Inside their beak is a sharp hooked tip that helps them grab and hold on to their food. This allows macaws to eat a variety of foods, including nuts, seeds, fruits, and even small insects. Their beaks are truly versatile and essential for their survival in the wild. <laughs> Macaws are native to the rainforests of Central and South America, where they live high up in the trees. These rainforests are rich in food, which is why macaws have such varied diets. So varied, in fact, that sometimes they can eat clay. That's right, macaws are known to visit clay licks, where they eat clay to help detoxify the poisons found in some of the seeds and fruit they consume. The rainforest provides everything macaws need, from food to shelter. Their bright colors help them blend into the vibrant surroundings, making it easier for them to hide from predators. They also have strong wings that allow them to travel long distances in search of food. This makes the rainforest the perfect home for the macaw. Macaws aren't the only birds with amazing beaks, though. In fact, Every bird's beak is uniquely adapted to help it survive in its environment. Let's take a look at a few other birds found in the Amazon and see how their beaks help them thrive. First, we have the toucan. Like my friend Diego, toucans have large, colorful beaks that might look heavy, but they're actually quite light because they're made of a honeycomb-like structure. Toucans use their long beaks to reach fruit on branches that are too small to support their weight. Next up is the hummingbird. Hummingbirds have long, thin beaks that are perfect for sipping nectar from flowers. Their beaks are specially adapted to reach deep into the flowers, allowing them to access the sweet nectar that other animals can't. And finally, we have the harpy eagle. Harpy eagles have powerful hooked beaks that they use to catch and eat their prey, like monkeys and sloths. Their beaks are strong enough to tear through animal hide, making them one of the top predators in the rainforest. But despite their amazing adaptations, macaws and these other rainforest birds face some serious challenges. One of the biggest issues, like all of our rainforest friends, is habitat destruction, mostly through deforestation. As rainforests are cleared for logging, agriculture, and development, macaws lose their homes and the food that they depend on. When trees are cut down, macaws and other birds have fewer places to nest, fewer sources of food, and less protection from predators. This can lead to a decline in their population and put them at risk of extinction. So how can we help from home, young explorers? Here are a few ways that you can make a difference. Learn and share. Educate yourself and others about the importance of rainforests and the creatures that live there. Share
share what you've learned with your friends and family to raise awareness. The more we know, the more we can help. Support rainforest conservation. Since deforestation is one of the biggest threats to rainforest animals, supporting organizations that protect rainforests is one of the most important things we can do. Even small donations can make a big difference. Perhaps you can organize a small fundraiser, like a bake sale or selling crafts, to donate to these organizations. We've listed a few of these organizations below so you can check them out for yourself. Make sustainable choices. Make sure you're buying products that are made from sustainable materials like recycled paper and certified wood. These products don't contribute to deforestation and help protect the rainforest where macaws live. There are many species of macaw, but the scarlet macaw's scientific name is Era macaw. They are of least concern. Their habitat includes rainforests in Central and South America, their diet includes nuts, seeds, and fruit, and their biggest threat is habitat loss through deforestation. That's it for today's episode in the Critter Corner. We learned about the incredible beaks of macaws and some of their other rainforest friends, understood why beaks are such important adaptations for birds, and learned all about the rainforest and how you can help protect it from home. Don't forget, we can all make a big difference to help protect these amazing birds. Thank you for joining us here in the Critter Corner. Don't forget to like and subscribe to go on another amazing adventure. We'll see you next time.